Welcome to the only talk show hosted by the lovable legend, Bigfoot! And welcome to another episode of My Name is Bigfoot, and you are Sir? Greg Avola from Untapped. What exactly does your app do? Untapped is a social app for beer lovers that allows you to check in, and rate and review, and share with friends. Uh, it's a great way to kind of discover beer in a new way, um, and also share with your friends. I like that. Now, I actually happen to be a user of your app. Nice. Uh, my name is Bigfoot. You have saved me so much money <laughs> on just figuring out the percentages of certain beers. Because nice. I, I try to stay above 7%. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and do a local beer. Nice. You- awesome. Very good. There we go. So how old were you when you first came up with the idea of Untapped? I was probably around uh, the age of 25. Uh, so Untapped around for six years. Um, so that's kind of the way that looks from that perspective. So, Yeah, because I, I joined Untapped in 2012. Nice. Uh, but when did Untap first come out? October twenty second, two thousand and ten. So okay, so I, I was I was like yeah. two years behind time. Yeah. Figures. <laughs> yeah. What made you come up with this app? I see, the idea is to kind of share with friends, discover beer in a new way, and I think that's really what Untap's all about. Is there's so many beers out there, and you really want to be able to try to find them. And the Untapped app is supposed to help you figure that out and uh, help you down that path. That's kind of where it started. Oh, sorry. Cheers. Cheers. How long did it take for you to, to figure out what worked for your untapped? It was all about really just figuring out the user base out there and uh, really helping significantly uh, improve the value for the end user. That's really what it's all about for us. So as long as we got the people out there um, to engage with us, that was really what it's all about. Now, do you have a do you have background in creating apps? I do, yeah. I have developer? a computer, computer science program and, and stuff like that. So I think uh, uh, that's kind of what we're at, where, I, where I was from from that perspective. So. When you developed this app, were you East Coast? Yes, East Coast, yep. Yeah. All right. Um, so what brought you over to the West? So, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm still in East Coast. I'm from New York. I okay. still live there. So just out here doing some events and stuff like that. So um, just you know, meeting the community and stuff like that. So. Are you hitting up any other places in Washington? Uh, I'm here for a very short period of time. So it's uh, going to be a very short trip. Uh, but hopefully in the future I'll get back and uh, I'll, I'll try some new ones out there. You, so. you timed it perfect. We could have had better weather for you. Yeah, it was <laughs> raining this morning. Yeah, so. I know, right? Yeah. That's, that's how it is pretty much most of the time. What is your favorite food uh, when, when you're beer deep? <laughs> hamburgers. Uh, hamburger and french fries are the big thing for me when you're having that type of thing. So. Is there like a certain type of hamburger you like? like not, not really. I mean, I, on the East Coast, I'm a big Shake Shack guy. You don't have okay. Shake Shack here on the West Coast. No. It's kind of like an in and out but a little bit more fancier. Okay, um, I know of in and out So that's kind of what it is from that perspective. So You're an IPA guy. I am, you? yes. Okay. Um, but with the Belgians, do you find them to get like a little bit sickening sweet after a while? Yeah, after a while, yeah, it's a little sickening sweet, um, and uh, and uh, that's kind of the way I look at it from that perspective. Uh, IPAs are good, and uh, makes a lot of sense from that perspective. So, how old were you when you first had your uh, your first beer? Uh, my first beer, I'm not sure of the age per se, but I'll <laughs> tell you, the first craft beer I had was probably about five or ten years ago, um, and it, it was. Uh, uh, it was a rare Voss beer for Moma Gang, and it was one of my favorite beers that I've ever had, which is very rare for uh, a rare beer like that to be your first entry to craft because it's, it's complex. It has a lot of Belgian flavors and stuff like that, so uh, that was my first beer there. So, Have you ever had a beer in the shower? No, never had a beer in the shower, believe it or not. So it's, it's, yeah. There's plenty of beers that are great in the shower. I just never had one left in the shower. So. Of all the pairings you can do with a beer, you've never paired <laughs> up with an overhead shower. Never, never, never. So. Well, sir... Thank, Thank you, you very so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, welcome to Washington State. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. I, I know that the idea of bringing people together is, is just wonderful, and I, yeah. I, I applaud you for that. That's yeah. just, it's great. 